So how meat impacts hunger. This, this again, is kind of our, our main thing. There's a lot of ways in which meat impacts hunger, and again, by meat, I mean animal agriculture, factory farming, but not just factory farming, also grass-fed. We're gonna focus on uh, that meat is crop-intensive, and put plainly, that means that animals being raised for food eat much more food than they produce. So just put very simply, animals eat much more food than they produce. It's their inefficient converters of food, if that's another way to phrase it. And this is feed conversion ratios. So I'm super interested in this. Uh, we did a lot of research. These are not my numbers. These are Vaclav Smil's numbers, and he's um, a well-known researcher. And I'll, I'll keep this up here so you can take photos because I love this chart. And it's also online at awfw.org. There's a whole section on feed conversion ratios. But one of the things that this breaks down is the number game. So I'm gonna take my time here just for a second because this is so important. A lot of times if you are working on these issues, you hear that cows eat X times number of food more than they produce. So if you are listening to industry numbers, they usually say seven, seven or eight times. Cows eat seven or eight times uh, as much food as they produce. If you hear kind of vegetarian, vegan, leaning people talking about it, you hear 16. That's the number you hear a lot. That goes way back. Cows eat 16 times more food than they produce. And you're like, well, why are the vegans saying this? But I hear this number from other numbers. And one of the main reasons is because we're, we're not comparing the same things. So the industry compares live weight. So there's three different types of feed conversion ratios. Live weight, carcass weight, edible weight. I'm not gonna talk about carcass weight because it's gross and we don't need it. We'll focus on the two extremes. So live weight is the amount of crops that the cows are eating to put on a pound of, of weight. So if they eat seven pounds of crops, they gain a pound. And a lot of that's just being used for their metabolism. And the reason they can do that is because they're just growing them up and getting them as big as they can, as quick as they can, and then shipping them off to slaughter. So you would think as an adult, I can eat seven pounds and I don't gain a pound. Well, maybe you do. But anyway, um, th there's, there's steadying points. But when you're growing a cow, um, they're going to go ship them off to slaughter once they hit their weight. So about, they say, seven pounds of crops to make a pound of cow. But that's the live weight. So I apologize. I'm going to get a little gross here for a second. Once you have that cow, you have to take out their bones, you have to take out their blood, you've got to cut them into pieces, package them into pieces, get rid of the pieces that people aren't going to eat. And once you do that, you lose a lot, a lot of that. And that's where you get these higher numbers. And this feed conversion ratio, I don't know if you can follow me, um, the far end is live weight ratio. So um, uh, Blackhoff is saying it's 10. And then the, the second line is 25. So you hear 16, that's still conservative. That's what I'm trying to say. Even among the advocates, we're still using conservative numbers. So he says it's 25 to one. That means cows eat 25 pounds of crops to make a pound of burger. Uh, you can see with pigs, that number is over nine, nine pounds to one pound. So pigs are eating nine pounds of crops to produce a pound of pig meat. And chickens are eating four and a half times. You'll see two and a half times is what he's using for live weight. And that's a lot of times what you hear is two to one. Chickens are, are celebrated as very efficient as two to one. I'm not gonna go into the second two categories. You can see them, but the, the premise of it is, is that we're not just talking calories, we're also talking protein. It's protein inefficient too. It's not just calories. You're not just trading up these uh, calories for protein calories. It's protein inefficient as well. And to give you an idea of the scope, is that uh, more than a third of the world's global crops are, are fed to livestock inefficiently. Less, uh, less than 9% are for biofuels. I'm gonna talk about biofuels for a second, but just to give you a size of scale, people are really upset about biofuels, but it's nothing compared to uh, livestock feed. Got your picture? Okay. All right, so if I had my magic wand, uh, <laughs> I wish I had the magic wand, but I don't. Um, but, let's, come on. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Okay, biofuels. So bio, uh, meat is worse than biofuels. So if those numbers, 
maybe you don't like numbers, maybe it's blah, 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 these numbers, that numbers. If you understand that biofuels are a threat to hunger, if you care about biofuels threat to hunger, then you can just use that as your baseline to say, well, if I care about biofuels, I care about livestock production. And the, the UN head official, uh, the Special Repertoire to the Right to Food, called biofuels a crime against humanity in light of the, the hunger situation. A crime against humanity, biofuels. If you care about biofuels, he should be talking about meat. If he cares, if, if biofuels are a crime against humanity, what is meat at four times the, the level of crop use of these crops being diverted uh, away from feeding people directly to, um, to livestock? And I, again, the, I don't want to overstate the feed directly because it's not that easy, but I'm going to get to the tangible aspects. Also, meat is worse than food waste. Food waste is a very popular issue right now. And it's, it's popular, nobody speaks out against food waste. Who's gonna, argue? Who's gonna argue for food waste? Nobody argues for food waste. Everybody's against food waste. Meat is much worse wasting a food than the food you, you don't eat. And, and don't, don't eat your food on your plate if it's extra, just to not waste it because you gotta get rid of that. It's bad for your health. So throw it away before you overeat, but don't, you know, try to save it for later. Anyway, the point is nobody's against food waste, but meat is worse than waste. And meat is the true waste. If we're going to talk about the true caloric cost of meat, meat is a form of waste. And that's one of the things I really want to bring home, is meat is a form of waste. Meat is a form of overconsumption. It's a form of redistribution, taking crops away from the world's poorest of the poor. You have countries exporting grains and meat products and other animal products, and other products in general, flowers, whatever, coffee, chocolate, uh, but you, but livestock in particular, you have these very poor countries exporting food for livestock. So we're actually outbidding. If you hear uh, the people who are talking about, well, the issue is, is not scarcity. We have enough crops in the world to feed the world hungry. The issue is distribution, not scarcity. Well, this is part of the redistribution. So they're, they're not one or the other, they're tied together and there's regional scarcity caused by the redistribution. And so we are outbidding the poorest of the poor. So, but that wasn't my point that here, actually, we, I'm just uh, getting off on this tangent here, but well, I'm gonna get back to that. But food, um, in particular, this meat is a form of waste. I wanna slow down and give you this, this really uh, important example that I think is gonna make this clear. Say this patty here is a 100 calorie patty of beef. Now I just showed you the figures that say it takes 25 pounds of crops to make a pound of beef. I'll even go conservative. So when all the meats are combined together, uh, the official numbers are a lot of times 10 to 1, that they, when they combine them all together. And, and again, these are going to be conservative. But let's just say it's a 10 to 1 ratio. So we'll go very conservative, not go 25, that cows eat 10 times more food than they produce. If so, that 100 calorie patty burger really cost 1,000 calories in global crops. So I'm hoping that's really breaking it down and making it easy to understand that a 100 calorie burger has a caloric global cost of 1,000 calories. And that's why meat is a form of overconsumption and redistribution and waste. We want to talk about using our unfair share of global resources. This is, this is what we're talking about. That is a waste of 900 calories just in itself. And if you think about how much meat gets wasted, that's a multiplier of waste. So it's, it's really, but you know, there's not an industry that's going to be supportive of waste. You've got a massive um, animal agriculture industry lobbying. So the takeaway points. Just put simply, animals eat much more food than they produce. Meat increases the staple prices of crops so that the poor can't afford even their basic food. I'm going to get a little bit more into that. And then meat is a form of redistribution, overconsumption, and waste. And it's a waste of food and water and energy. And I had some great charts for talking about the food, water, um, and energy and land waste um, to go along, but I, I cut them for time. So we can talk about that later.